Hello my beautiful Geminis. We're here to do Will My Ex Return for the month of November. These readings are timeless. If they resonate with you, they're your reading. I'm going to be using the Tarot de la Nuit, Tarot of the Night, and I'm going to be clarifying with the Dreaming Way Tarot. So let's get started here on this beautiful reading. Uh, it is one of the most asked questions I get as a professional psychic. Uh, working in my community for the last 13 years. Gemini, Gemini, what is the energy for Gemini in love, Gemini and their ex returning? So in the recent past, the energy of your person in terms of wanting to return to you has been what? What is the recent energy? Four of Swords. Wow, this person, in this particular deck, this person is literally crying tears of blood that they know that they've hurt you, that they feel absolutely devastated at what they've done to you as well as what they've done to themselves. The Four of Swords and the crying tears of blood is remorse, regret, trying to heal. It's a devastating loss for a decision that was made too lightly, too rapidly, and without consideration. Okay. What is the energy with your person right now in terms of their desire to return to you, their thoughts, their actions? Wow, look at this. So we have the Lover's card. The Lover's card is Gemini energy. The Four of Swords is the energy of um, Libra, trying to stay balanced. All right, so the Lover's energy is right here. Your person has been thinking about you. They've been dreaming about you. This person just remembers that you are an incredibly good kisser. This person wants to reach over. In their dreams, they're thinking about what it was like for that first kiss and how beautiful your face looked as they approached you. The Six of Cups energy indicates soulmate energy. It's longing for a time in the past. They long to be with you again. They want to travel sort of through the night to see you. This card indicates that if you live in a, a building or they know where you live, they would go by at night and look to see if the lights are on where you're at or even to see if someone's with you. This person thinks about you all the time, Gemini. They think about you a great deal throughout the day. They feel really as though they wounded themselves and they wounded you by bringing you into a situation in which they really couldn't deliver the kind of love that you expected or hoped for. Beautiful, beautiful energy with the Three of Cups. Your person views you as a person who is just, look at how gorgeous this is, Gemini. Look at, she's beautiful. She has this cute little clever hat on. She's very artistic. She's enchanting. There's bunnies. There are cakes. Time with you is like a beautiful adventure. Your person feels as though you've all, you're have you always sweet. You're always kind. You're always so lovely to them. They feel as though they also, it's also what makes them feel very guilty in terms of what happened with you. The Three of Cups is a card of deep friendship. It's a person that you talk to first when somebody's something is going on in your life. It really speaks to the fact that they find you enchanting and delightful. How do they feel in their heart space? Well, the lover's card really is that soulmate, of course, soulmate. How does this person feel in their heart space right now? I'm not going to read reversals. I'm going to use clarifiers. So what we see is Six of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles. This, move, this person is moving towards you very, very slowly. They're holding on to their heart. They feel as though with the Knight of Pentacles that they have to cut something away. They have to cut some sort of illusion away. They were supposed to give you more. And they feel that when they come back to you with the Six of Pentacles, that there needs to be equal give and take. 
you gave so much to the relationship. You were always top notch. You were always loving and gracious and kind and beautiful with them. They feel as though they weren't the same way with you. When they came into your energy, you probably met them when they were working. This is Virgo energy. The Three of Cups is Cancerian energy. Um, you could have met them near or around your home. Um, the energy of Virgo is very much work related. The Four of Pentacles basically says that, you know, right now they see you as a person who's holding back, that you are not really doing anything to invite them back in, that they feel that you want to talk to them in their heart space. They feel as though they need to give you more, that you deserve the stability that you gave them in this relationship. But when we see this big, I guess it's a sky, this big sort of harvesting blade is that they know that they need to bring you the harvest in a relationship. They can't just skim over. They can't just be, you know, this relationship can't be you giving everything and them just taking what they want like a buffet table. This person is somebody who does believe in work, but they oftentimes don't really know how to have relationship. You know, we see the Knight of Pentacles energy. We see a slow moving energy that's all about being methodical. It's Virgo energy. Um, you know, the Six of Pentacles is Taurus energy, you know, very grounded energy. The Four of Pentacles is, you know, Capricorn energy. So this person has a, a trifecta of Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. They, they put a lot of emphasis on the stability in their life coming through what they can do, what they can produce. They see that as their primary value in life, that they've always been judged by that versus their emotional life and what they can give in a, in a relationship. Look at this, the Nine of Cups. So what we're seeing here, we see a person who is coming back. They want to eat, drink, and be merry with you. They want to have that fun time with you. They want to bring to you what you brought to them. The Nine of Cups is also wish fulfillment. The Chariot card says that they're going to be coming by your home. It will be very soon. They will reach out to you in your home if they're at a distance. The death card indicates that they can no longer hold back, that they're going to give up on this concept, that if they can't give you everything you want, that they can give you nothing that you want, which is, you know, really speaks to the fact that it has been a very long time for most of you, for this person to have been in your life that basically they're almost dead to you at, at this point in time um, and that they know that they have to transform this relationship. The chariot card is all about rushing in for love. It's about rushing home. Home is where the heart is. You are where their heart is. They're having this recognition that without you, life is just so bland. It's it's like it's not worth living, you know, and that's not to mean anything negative. It just means that without you, they thought they could go on without you, but they're finding that life is very, very challenging. Without the joy that you gave them, without the love that you gave them, without the laughter, the lightheartedness, that their life is very much out of balance, that Scorpio energy. The Nine of Cups is Pisces energy. They fantasize about you. And the Three of Cups, very, very emotional, heavy energy here of wanting to come in, wanting to give you the great nurturing that you gave them, wanting to just come in and wrap their arms around you, and wanting to really have that rebirth of a relationship with you. The hidden energy that they have right now is they feel defensive. The Seven of Wands says that they feel as though if they came back to you right now, that you would defend yourself against them. That you they would that you might see them actually as a sort of a, an enemy combatant almost. The Seven of Wands says that they know that you were right to feel upset with them. That that they didn't give you the best. The death card even indicates for some of you that they could have disappeared without ever telling you. 
that after a night of having a beautiful time together that you could have disappeared and um, that they could have disappeared and breadcrumbed you or cut off the relationship. I think that you've probably seen them in their car driving around. The Seven of Swords is the card that indicates that this person had secrets that they kept. They were being sneaky and deceitful and devious with you. This is like a person who's running out of a building out of shame for something that they've done. They expect everybody to chase them and hunt them down for the cruelty in which they have enacted on another. And that is you, Gemini. They definitely feel as though you wouldn't want to talk to them. Why would you, right? You know, they didn't treat you well. It didn't look like this person meant to treat you badly. It's almost as though it didn't even occur to them. Because you're so strong, Gemini, because you're so happy, because you are such a, a, a force to reckon with in life at large, you're successful, you're happy, you're glowing, everybody wants to be with Gemini. The Ten of Pentacles, you take care of yourself, many of you have abundance. The Emperor card says that they feel as though short of being an Emperor, they're not good enough for you. It really indicates though that this person felt sort of like they could just party with you, have this luscious energy, and that they could go on their merry way because you'd be fine without them. You know, that really they were never good enough for you. So let's look and see what we have now for clarifiers. The extended reading will be in the description box below and pinned to the top of the comments. And in that extended, we will go in depth into the cards. We'll, we'll put a lot more detail out in these cards for you. I uh, will also help you heal and help you know what the future should bring for you. But this person is returning, okay? The person is returning because the outcome card here, when we go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, they are returning. And your outcome card is the Ten of Pentacles and the Emperor card. So those are your outcome cards. These are the energies that are hidden beneath the surface for you. But the Ten of Pentacles is as good as gold. This person's coming back. Here's what's interesting. That in the interim of them having left you, they became very successful. This person felt like they needed to go from being a Knight of Pentacles to an Emperor. So in the 13 months, it could be any multiple of 13 months or 13 weeks, this person has achieved the level of success in which they view you as having achieved. They're coming back in as an emperor, and that is a very handsome emperor. We see the Ten of Pentacles. This person has created abundance and happiness and joy and legacy in their life. So it's very important. They really now feel as though they can offer you something that's truly beautiful. Before they felt like a lightweight that had to work all the time, that if you gave them a little bit of your time to just have fun and playfulness, that that was going to be enough. But life is not the same with you. They feel like it pales. Okay, let's see what we have. Why are they healing? Why did they cry tears of blood over this? Why have they cried tears of blood over this? situation. They want a new beginning. They want a new beginning and they do not think that they deserve a new beginning. That's what the tears of blood are about with that particular card. And we have the four of swords. You know, that is all about Libra. Libra energy is all about being fair, right? It's balancing the scales. They weren't balanced with you. They left you on your own. They left you feeling like a fool. Many of them feel as though you, you would feel like a fool for having been with them, but it really tells us that this person is praying for a new beginning, but they also have their back turned to the reality that you really love them. And so they're looking at their own pain. They're sort of caught up in a dynamic of feeling sorry for themselves. Okay, the lover's energy. Why is the lover's energy right here, right now? in this moment of space or time. 
the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, the Ten of Pentacles. They want to give you everything. They want to give you a legacy love. The Ten of Pentacles is a Hierophant on steroids. The Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. They want to come in. They want to make this right with you, Gemini. They want to give you this relationship, but they want to give you an abundance. They want to take care of you. They want to live with you into old age. If you don't have children and you're that age and that age range, they want to have everything that you can imagine with you. Okay. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Six of Cups is about nostalgia. It's about the past. It's sweet memories. It's really missing somebody terribly. Why is the Six of Cups here? They want to reconcile. That is the number one card of reconciliation. It's finding the balance. It's Sagittarius energy. It's ninth house energy, which is the same as Libra. It's making things right. It's doing things the right way. We have an angel here that's very glorious, waiting around in these beautiful, this beautiful pool of water, which is nothing but pure love. Look at how sweet the face of that angel is. This person dreams of you at night. They think of you, they remember those sort of in a very watery, filmy way, what it was like to kiss you. That's what they can't get out of their heads. They cannot get that feeling of what it was like to come close before they kissed you in that moment. The Three of Cups energy. Why is the Three of Cups energy here for you? The Hermit card, yep. I do believe that um, many of you are dealing with a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, I feel that they have probably a very strong Earth element to their chart overall. But look at this. When they're alone, all they can think of is how sweet it was when they were with you. They're trying to find the light through the night, but look at this. The person's turned the wrong way. It's like they're lost. They got lost on the trail of life. They have a, a lamp of illumination, and yet they're walking off into the forest where, you know, there's nothing in the forest for them. Why is the Hermit card here for our beautiful Gemini's a hanged man? Yep. This person doesn't feel as though, basically they see that your back is turned to them. They have their back turned to you, but it shows that they're really, they feel as though they hung themselves out to dry. And why would you want them back, right? Why wouldn't you turn your back to them? So it does appear that for some of you, this person tried to call you or has tried to have contact with you in the past. And you really were not very interested in doing that. You know, it shows that at some point this interaction this person was coming back, they've made an attempt, and you, you know, you stood up for yourself, you defended yourself. So it does look like this is something that has made them want to go heal. You didn't make it easy for them, and nor should it be easy for them, because they really left you in a way that was quite, it was quite unannounced. You wouldn't have expected it. All right, so why is the death card here? Why is the death card here for our beautiful Geminis? Look at this, Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning, a solid new beginning. The offer of the Ace of Pentacles is often an engagement ring, especially when it's with the Three of Cups. And normally these cards would be close to each other, but due to the table and the layout of the table, they're separated. But this person can only think of how beautiful it would be on daily in daily life to be married to the the three of uh, the the ace of pentacles with the three of cups is a classic classic indicator or indication of a potential engagement why is the knight of pentacles here in their heart space the wheel of fortune they're waiting for the right time why is the four of pentacles why is this capricorn energy here Yep, the King of Cups, the Scorpio King. This person wants to wait for the right time when their emotions are perfectly balanced, when they can handle the difficulties of having a very deep discussion with you. What do they plan on giving our beautiful Geminis when they do return? 
What do they want to tell Gemini? They want to tell Gemini that they've been saving their money, that they've thought about them a great a number of times, that they know they were didn't treat Gemini, they didn't treat you well. They're going to absolutely admit that they did not treat you well. That here you are feeling sad and here they were sort of sneaking off having just taken everything. They took, they didn't get back. That's what they're going to apologize about. The Empress card they see was their Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine Energy. Empress card is Taurus Energy. Again, they want to build a legacy with you. They find you to be the warm, beautiful place that they call home, the lover of their dreams, the person with whom they connect with emotionally. Why is the Seven of Wands here? The Seven of Wands is about standing your ground and they feel as though when they come back to you, they will need to defend their actions, but they don't think that their actions are really very defensible, okay? They really don't think that they have anything that they can defend against. They expect you to put them on the spot, Gemini. They expect you to ask a lot of questions. They expect to have to explain. They will explain three of cups. They will want to have um, to take you out to dinner, to take you out to a meal. They're going to want to give you a very beautiful, gentle experience. They want to um, laugh with you. They want to love with you in terms of to break bread, to celebrate seeing each other. And at that time, they are going to tell you that they are ashamed in terms of the fact that they ran away. They ran away when they realized that they felt that you were above their, their uh, socioeconomic level or they felt that you were too good for them, that you deserved somebody who was an emperor of the Ten of Pentacles. They're going to tell you that they didn't feel good enough, but they're also going to tell you that they know that leaving, stealing away like a thief in the night was devastating to you and that they know that at this time that they felt ashamed of what they did and they couldn't face you so what they've done gemini is they've gone forward in their lives and they've become the person that they think that you deserve so now this person has become an emperor we saw that you know in this energy here the Ten of Pentacles. They think that that's what you deserve. They now are coming back to introduce themselves to you as being your emperor to your empress energy. Beautiful energy. And why is the Ten of Pentacles here at this time? Why? What are they going to say about that energy for you? The Knight of Swords. They're going to speak their truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth that they've wanted to come back to you for a very long time. For some of you, you may not have heard from this person in literally two or three years. It's very possible. Why is the Emperor card here, the moon? This person doesn't know how to explain why you should take them back. The why you should take them back. They don't, they feel as though they don't deserve it to be really straightforward. This person does not feel as though they deserve it. They simply know with the Aries energy, the Emperor clarifying the Emperor, uh, and the Emperor, the Moon card is Pisces. Your person simply feels that they're going to throw themselves at your mercy. And if you don't take them back, they won't be surprised. They really won't. They expect that you won't take them back. They really expect that you won't take them back. Knight of Pentacles. They still behave like a knight. They have become an emperor. They have built wealth. They've created legacy. They've created a path forward. They have grown up. When we get all of this beautiful energy, we have somebody who really slayed the dragons of where they were at in their life. And yet, they still feel like that, that sort of boyish, you know, Knight of Pentacles, like they just don't know if you'll accept them. So let's go ahead and see what they would say to you. For those of you who um, want to follow me in the extended, we're going to continue to look at this in depth again. 
Uh, but for those of you who want to stop here, we'll get what your person would say to you if they had the courage to say it. I'm sorry I couldn't follow through with my promises, and that's this card. It's really hard for me to open up. See, I knew it. Am I good enough for you? Am I good enough for you? Well, let me tell you, they wanted to be good enough for you. So they went from being the Knight of Pentacles to the Emperor, and they did it twice. This person built legacy while they were away from you as a way of being good enough for you. All right, Gemini, bye-bye. Sending you love from Chicago, send some back and tell me where you're from. Thank you, bye-bye.